Calm down. Now get back to your seat. I'll take care of this. Calm down. Get off. Do you want to the phone? Johnny, I've got a scenario for you. A scenario? Okay, hit me with it. Yeah, now imagine, picture this. There are countries out there somewhere, maybe making weapons of war, you know, like bombs and missiles and all that sort of shit. Yeah, making bombs and that, yeah, yeah. Now imagine, Johnny, imagine that that country is selling weapons to another country that is waging war on another country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that country you've sold the weapons to knowingly commits war crimes. Yeah, war crimes. Oh my fucking God! Yeah. And the country that makes these weapons knows that the country they're selling the weapons to is committing war crimes. Uh, is that a war crime in itself? Well, I, I think it is, isn't it? Well, <laughs> apparently it is. You just can't bloody sell weapons to another country when you knowingly know uh, that they're using them in, in, a, in a war crime scenario. It could be all bullshit. In a war crime scenario. Break it. The government's own lawyers say that Israel has breached international law, but is refusing to make it public. The advice says the UK has to cease all arms sales to Israel without delay. <laughs> uh, and this story is in The Observer, where the chair of the Foreign Affairs Select Committee, Alicia Keynes, says at a Tory fundraiser that legal advice would mean the UK has to seize all arms sales to Israel without delay. I mean, Johnny, you just can't go into another, another country with a drone and shoot down the citizens of that country that you're not even officially at war with and just shoot them down willy-nilly. You can't do it. It's a war crime. Who's doing that, Johnny? So guys, we wanted to share with you a little bit of this absolutely horrifying drone footage that Al Jazeera was able to obtain. Um, in it, you can see four unarmed civilians who are murdered by an Israeli uh, drone. You know, we had a lot of internal debate about how much of this to show you here. You can see them uh, walking and then very quickly, you can, you know, see them just strolling along. This is near Khan Yunus. There is further footage that we chose not to show you. But that's what the U.S. and Israel just continually do. Yeah. So can the Russian state, along with President Vladimir Putin, be put on trial by the International Criminal Court like the United States wants? But Russia isn't a member of the ICC, meaning their leaders can't be tried by the court. And they're not the only ones. The United States isn't a member of the court either. That's why no American presidents or officials were put on trial for U.S. actions during the so-called war on terror. Yeah, the Yanks don't recognize war crimes. No, we don't want to recognize Because that would mean they'd have to actually bloody follow rules and they wouldn't be able to just go off and do, do whatever they want. Right, yes. Yes, of course. But how exactly has the U.S. been able to place itself beyond the reach of accountability? And now the United Nations says you shouldn't be doing that. That's a, that's a war crime. We have to stop this. It's a bloody, it's a disgrace, blah, blah, blah. Jesus Christ almighty. And the U.S. and Israel and Russia too, probably. They just all bloody ignore it. What? And uh, make up all sorts of stupid bloody excuses and pretend that it never really happened and that people will forget about it after a little while. Which is generally what happens. Yes, by Jove. We finally need to admit, once and for all, that these people are fucking idiots. <laughs> read you just one section here. Uh, it says, um, in an unprecedented move, according to two of the sources, the army also decided during the first weeks of the war that for every junior Hamas operative that Lavender marked, it was permissible to kill up to 15 or 20 civilians. In the past, the military did not authorize any collateral damage during assassinations of low-ranking militants. The sources added that in the event that the target was a senior Hamas official with the rank of battalion or brigade commander, the army on several occasions authorized the killing of more than 100 civilians in the assassination of a single commander. Oh my fucking God! So, Johnny, how do you know when a country you're selling weapons to is committing war crimes. How can you possibly know? There's a bloody book this thick of war crimes, what you can and cannot do in a war. I know it sounds a little bit strange because you could just say that, uh, that war itself is a war crime, so don't do it. But that doesn't seem to matter. Well, that's true, yeah. 
And the bottom line is, you know, Israel bears responsibility for the fact that this population is literally starving to death at this point. And do these weapons manufacturing countries, Johnny, do they say to the people who've sold those weapons to, hey, you weren't supposed to use them to blow up kids and civilians in other countries that you aren't at war with? You're not supposed to do that. We're selling you these weapons in good faith to kill people legally. Well, whatever, who cares? <laughs>